Hello and welcome to BreezeCS, Construction Site Software. Upon system launch you are presented with a login screen. Simply enter your password and you will gain access to BreezeCS. There are two view modes, Simple and Advanced. We are currently in the Simple view, which allows you to access all of BreezeCS key features, but from an easy to use interface. We'll just quickly run through each of these buttons and then we will go into the Advanced view, where we'll look at each of the functions in a little more detail. BreezeCS integrates directly with Paxton Net2 and can administer all of the users within the database, integrates directly with IEVO for fingerprint enrollment, and CSCS GoSmart for scanning of CSCS cards, image and data retention. We'll now go into the advanced view where we can look at all of the users. We can search for a user by first name, surname or indeed both. We can edit this user by double clicking to access all of the information about the specific user, including their name, their gender, their ethnicity, date of birth, national insurance, email address, full address, the CSS card number and card type, their position within the company, their employment type, their access level, and the vehicle stroke travel type which is an aid to working out CO2. The CO2 is based on information gained through the DEFRA tables so it is fully compliant and government based. We can then issue yellow and red cards and we can also advise that we wish to be alerted if a user accesses site. We can then clear the strike and revert back to all doors all hours. We can access notes to type any information we want along with events, the timesheet for the current and previous month, the CO2 emissions for the specific user, the CSS cards and the ability to export all of this information into HTML format. We can click Add Fingerprint, save this user, and then be presented with the IEVO fingerprint enrollment screen. We can bar a user with or without notifications, in this example with. So when we present the user's token, or the user presents their token, they will be barred from sight, and the manager will get a notification. We can edit the user and change them back so they can indeed once again access site. There is a whole range of filters available for you to drill down on the data that you want to see. Everything from expired CSCS users to users currently on site and who's been on site today. We're currently viewing who's been on site today which is a list of all users on site or who have been on site and in this view users that are currently on site now so if we clock somebody out their name will disappear from the list above we'll clock the other person out and then nobody will be on site if we try to do a fire roll call report we are informed that there's no one on site and no further action is needed we then clock someone back in their name appears on the top we generate a fire call fire roll call report but in this event there is no first trained first aiders on site we then clock the other person back in again who is a trained first aider and then when we generate the report again we notice that we've got a list of all trained first aiders and firewalls at the top along with information about each individual user segregated by company department along with their mobile number and their ICE next to king information we can generate reports for CO2 and for local labour. We're viewing a detailed report for all contractors grouped by the contractor, an extended legend and all the user, users associated with this report. We can also export reports in HTML or CSV format. This is a local label report which is a standard tiered, free tiered report for local users within a certain radius of site, 20, 20 to 40 and more than 40. We can also set a custom miles from site as local mileage. In this instance, we'll select 10 miles. And then we can run the generate the uh, two tier custom report, which will then give us the information that we just set. So all users that are within 10 miles and all users that are more than 10 miles.
Again, all reports can be exported into CSV or HTML. We also have the ability to set up new users within the system and then enable what they can and cannot access with BreezeCS. We can also generate new users and edit existing ones. We can export all filters and print all filters in either HTML or CSV. We can manage deliveries by viewing all deliveries to site or deliveries by specific company. We can also add a delivery to site by filling out a simple and short form. We can select from an existing company that has already delivered before or enter a new company name. So we enter the company, the FOR's number if applicable, who we're delivering goods to, the driver's name, the driver's CSCS number if they have one, the type of vehicle that they've used to deliver the goods, again quite an extensive list for all types of vehicles, uh, again based on the DEFRA tables so they meet government regulations. And then we can type in the postcode where they've come from, automatically to the site and then where they go to. If you've got an internet connection, mileage is auto-calculated when you enter the postcode and it is also automatically capitalised. You then simply enter the vehicle registration and you click on the add delivery button. If we look in the top right hand corner we'll see the current deliveries as well on 55.21. Now as delivery has been added we're now 193.81 and the total has gone up. <coughs> we can also access all of the options and features for various ways throughout the system through the menu at the top, toggle events on and off, access all the filters, reports and deliveries from either the top menu, the side menu or the subtop menu or again from the simple view. Thanks for watching and we hope that you like BreeCS.